So they got all. Oh, sorry, so they got eight ready. in total. Uh, they got everything here for one person and the other person. Oh my gosh! Wow. Okay. We want. <laughs> Thank you, Kimmy. Yeah. Oh, it's so tiny. And these you can open it, right? Yes, yes, that's right. You can actually yeah, it pull out. it out and yeah, that one. That's so I'll cool. Show you oh, so we good. We have some uh, a 70th anniversary corner yeah. going on, so do check them out on your way. Cool. Uh, again, whatever. For sure. Um, they have some uh, MD blocks I'm gonna buy. Oh, that's, that's so cool. Oh, MD paper blocks. Oh my gosh, I still have the paper block that I got when <laughs> when I won. <laughs> It's super helpful. Oh good, for, that's for, like ink test. Yeah, so. I use it for like ink testing now for oh, the fountain pens. Good. done I feel like I'm gonna puke because that was so expensive oh my gosh Hi friends, it's Joe. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we are journaling about our little stationary field trip to Paperia. This was a momentous occasion because we picked up our Traveler's Company limited edition sets, which, you know, they cost a little pretty penny, but we're recovering financially. But I wanted to document that special day because I've been hyped up about this release for so long. I've been saving up for it for, it seems like ages, and it's so cool to finally have these in my hand. If you wanna see like the full on in-depth unboxing that I have of all four sets, uh, I'll leave it down in the description bar below or the little eye will pop up right now on the top right corner of the screen uh, but yeah I worked really hard on the video because I wanted to get it perfect and so I'm so excited about uh, that video and also you might have noticed some of the camera quality might have hopefully jumped up a little bit because I am using a bigger a big boy camera it's the camera that I usually take photos on but I finally got a tripod again that works to hold it so it feels nice to actually be filming with my big camera so lots of good changes but I am rambling I'm not really telling you what's happening on the screen but I've been sketching my little heart away because I have been into watercolor sketching and like loose loose doodles um, with like line work and watercolor I think you might have noticed that I go through journaling phases or trends as of late um, I was in my gouache no line work phase for a little bit but now that I'm in a new insert I like to try new things when I start new inserts and so I've been really into like um, loose sketching with like a pencil and then going over it with a waterproof uh, pen like the microns the pigment microns that a lot of people use which I will be using later and then I like to put a little watercolor loose watercolor um, I guess like 
it's kind of like a a little um, watercolor coloring book for me once I finish my sketch. Uh, but I actually took a photo of my limited edition hotel set um, right by the pier at uh, I was gonna say at Paper but at Granville Island. I was just like sitting there admiring the view and drinking my lemonade after uh, purchasing these sets, and I decided to take a nice photo of it. And I wanted to push myself. I have a hard time drawing things that I see in real life. And so I thought I would try and sketch uh, the photo that I took, which was actually even harder because I realized that it's pretty much like an urban sketch because there are like there's a bridge and like a boat behind. So you'll see uh, it a little bit later, but I decided to just forego the fancy schmancy bridge um, that is in the background of this photo. You can kind of see it um, in the pencil sketch, but it just looked too novice and not great. So I decided to uh, not draw that. Uh, but I also I wanted to document this um, trip because as you saw, I was at Paper Yacht and they had their Traveler's Company partner shop stamp. So if you are into Traveler's Company, you might know that there are a lot of partner shops around the world. And that's just a fancy way of saying like, this is a shop that Traveler's Company approves of and they sell their items. That doesn't mean that, you know, all shops that sell Traveler's Company uh, things are partner shops, but there's like a select few that I guess are ones that align with like Traveler's Company's um, like ideas and vision. Um, they end up like making those uh, shops or reaching out to those shops that they are kind of in line with and they ask them if they would like to be a partner shop and they get a, a cool little stamp so there's a few ones around the, the globe there's one at Yoseka, Wonder Pens in uh, Toronto and then now Paper Yeah um, they've been a uh, not a Paper Yeah they've been a partner shop for a while but they got their special stamp and I stamped um the partner shop stamp on like a loose leaf paper pad that they had at the store and I'm going to document that later but that's why this thread is extra special because we're documenting the limited edition sets and also Paper Yaz um, like I guess well not first time being a partner shop there's only one I guess there's only really one shot to, to do it, but like uh, to celebrate that uh, stamp that came in, that makes more sense, Joe. Good job. Um, but yeah, now we're painting, and honestly, um, I have a hard time discussing things that are on screen when it's something that I'm not very comfortable with. I think I talk about this a lot, but watercolor, gouache, all of these things, like these paint mediums freak me out because I don't have an art background. I just kind of play around with these. And actually, I bought these when I was living in Korea, these watercolors. Uh, these are Shinhan artist grade watercolors, which are a little bit misleading because they're actually student grade, but they are called the artist watercolors. Um, and I used, to, I used to use these for lettering and like uh, calligraphy and whatnot. And I still do a little bit of that, but I'm not as interested at, in calligraphy and brush lettering as much now. Um, but now I'm trying to use these paints for like doodles and sketches like this. So uh, I'm just kind of playing by ear. And I think that's, you know, the best part about um, journals and whatnot. It's, it's the room to play and to grow as a creative person um, and... I don't know. It it always um it always reminds me of that quote like do something scary each day. And I know this is not like scary in that conventional sense, but for me like it it's still like stepping out of my comfort zone and you know that's that's also really good and that's how we grow as people. So um I've been kind of challenging myself to draw and paint more if there's a photo that I want to print, um I'll end up trying to draw or doodle it first before actually printing it out. Sometimes I end up printing out the photo. You'll see later a little cut out of this actual painting that I'm trying to draw. I actually ended up printing the photo that I was referencing because I was like, oh, I still kind of want to remember what the actual photo looked like because the the interpretation of mine isn't my favorite. But you know what? It's fine. We At least we did it. And honestly, I... I don't know if I've mentioned this, but every time I try to like draw or doodle or uh, paint something, I always end up liking it, even though I hate how it looks sometimes. But I always end up liking it because it's something that, you know, I, I made and I um, took the time out of my day to like draw and doodle in my journal. And it always ends up feeling more personal than, you know, um, just using a whole bunch of like stationery and printing things out. Not to discredit, you know, that too because I love stationery and printing photos and whatnot but I don't know I always have like a 
a little um like a little party in my head when i successfully finish one of these doodles because it feels more special to me but yeah this is um the the, the little painting that we're working on honestly if you want a reference for my photo just take a look at the limited edition set packaging because that's what i'm trying to paint and draw and i realize that drawing little things uh, or like in a tiny tiny little space is actually really hard and um, you actually uh, don't need to put as much detail because i don't know i think our eyes and our brain are pretty good at like connecting the dots and so when your little doodles look a little bit messy when you zoom out or when you're looking at it at, at a like as a whole like in, in a big picture it ends up looking fine because you know our brains do the hard work and um, piece things together or at least that's what i like to think i'm pretty sure that's science but i don't know take everything that i say with a grain of salt uh but yeah we finished the painting ish oh wait no i lied we actually just <laughs> wipe down the table i don't know if you're like me but i end up like obsessively cleaning my white table i think it's a choice that i made i need to just be okay with this table not being pristine but i still end up like routinely wiping it down while i'm like journaling and painting because i'm very clumsy and there's always like an odd stain um or like some wet paint or like water on the table so i just did a little wipe down there and then as you can see now the bridge in the background of this painting is gone uh, I've accepted defeat, but you know what? It doesn't matter because in the long run, when I flip through this journal, it's still going to look pretty cool. And I'll still acknowledge that, you know, he, Job tried to paint something and that's all that really matters. Honestly, looking at this right now, I was hesitant to post this and I always almost thought about redoing the spread because I wasn't that happy with how it turned out. Everything looks really flat in the same color, like that blue and then the brown, like my hand kind of just melts into the bottom of the packaging of that box. But you know what? It's fine. And honestly, done is better than perfect. And that's something that I always tell uh, the students that I work with and something that I always constantly try to tell myself as well. As you can see, I'm finally uh, putting down that stamp from Papria, the, the official partner shop stamp from Traveler's Company. And in the earlier portion of this journaling uh, video, I actually peeled that off of a prior spread because I started this journaling spread, I think, like really late at night um, on the day of that I when I bought this. So on the Thursday um, that when I purchased this, but I didn't like how the spread was turning out so i just peeled it all off um and um started fresh here and i ended up covering you know that spread that has like some like glue bits and things already glued down um on it and i've revived it for another spread but uh, there's i haven't shown you that yet because um this is past job journaling but yeah i ended up covering up um the mess that I made or left off. But as you can see, the photos are there and I decided that, you know, it still looks great having, you know, the painted version and then the photo version. And then as you can see, there's like these tiny little stickers that have like the traveler's record packaging and then a traveler's record sticker. Don't tell anyone. Well, <laughs> this is on the internet, but I actually took a photo of the, the stickers from the the one of the limited sets and i decided to print out the photo because i didn't want to use a sticker yet i feel like a madman trying to save and um not use and hoard these stickers i will use them eventually but the, it was day one of having these sets and it felt ridiculous well it wasn't day one i think it might have been a few days later but still it was you know one week into owning these sets and i did not feel ready to part with the stickers but do not do that do please use your stash and do not be like me who ended up chickening out and ended up taking a photo of the sticker and then printing it out pretty sure that's not what you're supposed to do um i could get in trouble for that but it was just this one time and i swear i will use my stickers and it's only for personal use my use only um and i don't think i will foresee well i don't think i'll do that ever again but it feels weird confessing to everyone that i did that but i'm sure a lot of people um take photos of things and print it out because they're too precious or too they're too nice to use up but um again don't do that to small artists or people that actually just don't do it just do what i say not what as i do <laughs> um and then i went and did some journaling i was gonna use a fountain pen but i just used my trusty favorite pen at the moment the 
Uni Jetstream More Black, which I think I've talked about in the video, but it's a fantastic pen and Jetstream ink is chef's kiss. But this is the completed spread. Um, you saw me go a little sticker crazy with the star stickers. I actually was just covering up little ink stains here and there, but I think it turned out nice and it add a little, added a little bit of some like metallic uh, little shine. That didn't make sense. It added some shine and some metallicness into the spread. Still doesn't make sense. Metallicness is not a word, I think. But yeah, this is the completed spread. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you ended up getting one of the limited edition sets from Traveler's Company. I would love to know which one you got. And again, check out the Traveler's Company limited set video that I posted. It's a labor of love. And I hope you check it out and leave a kind comment. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. Chobrang he, bye bye.